I made Minecraft out of candy. I'll start with iconic mobs like zombies and creepers, and work my way all the way up to the final boss of Minecraft, the Ender Dragon. I'll start with zombies, probably the most common mob. These guys lumber over you and hit you. They don't really do anything else. Yeah. To make these zombies, I'll use blue and green bubblegum. I arranged them into shape and then added candy eyes. You know, these eyes are kinda silly. Next, I'll make one of the most iconic mobs of all, creepers. These guys make their way over to you, then explode, blowing up all of your stuff. To make them, I got these fizzing candies and heated them up a bit to make them stick together. This lets me make a 3D creeper. I added some chocolate dots for eyes to finish it off, just like a creeper finished off my Minecraft wolf. This is where real men cried, rest in peace. Next, I moved on to skeletons. These annoying guys shoot you from far away using their bows. I'll make this skeleton using some marshmallow poles with a large white marshmallow for a head. Some gummy teeth and chocolate dots finish off the face. Hey, I recognize this guy. He's the face I see when I'm going to sleep outside my window. Skeletons are sometimes seen riding spiders, another enemy mob. During the day, spiders will let you walk right by, but during the night, they will turn hostile and attack. I'll use these licorice coins for the body of the spider, and strips of licorice for the legs. Red jelly beans will make the eyes. Okay, I only have one red jelly bean, so one red jelly bean and one orange jelly bean will make the eyes. Yes, spiders are supposed to have eight eyes, but I can't fit eight jelly beans onto this. <laughs> <laughs> the next mob I made was an Enderman. These guys are classic Minecraft enemies. They'll leave you alone, but if you look at their face, they'll attack. Like me. I hope none of you are looking at my face. <laughs> they're also the only mob that has confirmably touched grass, as they're able to pick up blocks. To make the Enderman, I got these licorice rolls and cut out strips into the right shape. Then I used purple jelly beans to make the eyes. Done. I'm not gonna make any nether mobs in this video, because that'd be too many mobs for just one video. If you wanna see the mobs from the nether in a video, comment and subscribe. Next up is the slime. The slime is a mob that splits up into smaller slimes every time you kill it. Given that the slime is made of, well, slime, I'm gonna use the same thing to make it out of candy. Jelly. I mixed up some jelly and put it into a rectangular bowl. That should give us four slimes, easily. I poured out the jelly, uh, oh, oh no. Okay, I salvaged what I could from the wreckage of the jelly. And now I have four roughly cubicle slimes. I added in some chocolate circles to make the eyes. We're finally at the end, the <laughs> ender dragon. This will be the biggest piece I make. I started by baking a cake. I could have used a chocolate cake mix, but I ran out of that, so I'm using a vanilla cake mix instead. I will come to regret this. I added black food coloring to get the right color. Once that was baked, I noticed that it wasn't the right color. It turns out if you add enough black food coloring, you just get gray. Doesn't matter, we're using it anyway. I cut out an ender dragon shape, but it doesn't have a head. Hmm? Like, yeah, it's not really the right shape either, but... To make the head, I got this crystal candy and stuck it into the body, giving it a long neck and then stuck a bit more cake to make the head. Of course, you're probably thinking, there's no way to top the Ender Dragon. It is immensely strong, fast, and able to fly. There's nothing in Minecraft stronger than it. That's where you're wrong. The Silverfish. What, it's not strong? Then explain how it has killed me in every Minecraft game I ever play. It haunts me. Silverfish are gray, but gray candy is not real. So I'm gonna use these black jelly beans instead. I stuck a bunch together and then added chocolate dots as eyes. There, the most menacing mob is complete. I am already having flashbacks. What? Okay, I'm being told the most powerful mob is actually the warden, a boss found in the deep dark. He is intimidating looking, but I'm not sure if he's really stronger than a silverfish. To start with, I made its body, limbs, and head with some marshmallows. I then melted down chocolate and added blue food coloring and poured it over to make the skin of the warden. The blue ended up not really changing the color of the chocolate because I didn't use white chocolate, but it is still a spooky color for its weird head things. Uh, ears? I don't know what they are. I made them out of candy sharks. Yep, that's a thing, and also they work pretty well here. I also added a few blue jelly beans in the center to make his heart things. Now the warden is complete. There, I made Minecraft mobs out of candy. Time to eat them. Thanks to my members for supporting the channel. Become a member to give me money.